All right, hello, Lincoln High School. Welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about selection tools, how to select things in Photoshop. Um, we're going to be doing that with the Lasso class demo. So for this demo, we need to go ahead and download these three photos right here. So go ahead and click on the photos, and then make sure you go down and click on Download Image. Um, now in my downloads folder, I went ahead and created a new folder called it lasso demo um, To do that you can just right-click and say new folder and then give it a name like lasso demo Which I already did All right, and then I downloaded all my files into there so I can find them All right, so make sure you go through and click on all three photos and then click the download image button Don't right-click and save if you do right-click and save the picture is going to be too small for you to work with, so don't do that. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. So go to Start, type in Photoshop, and go ahead and get that opened up. All right, so for this assignment, uh, we're not going to create a document or anything like that. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go up to File and go down to Open. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the one that's called Door Copy. So it's the picture of the girl walking through the door. And we're going to go ahead and hit Open. All right, so now in order to be able to edit this photo, um, I need to unlock the background layer here. So you see Background, and then it has a little lock symbol on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that lock symbol to go ahead and un unlock it so that I can edit it. I'm also going to zoom in a little bit. So I can use the magnifying class and click to zoom in a little bit. Um, you can also, as we talked about before, hit Control plus or Control minus um, or the Alt key and scroll up and down. So our goal for this project is to go ahead and get rid of um, everything outside of these doors here so we can replace it with some other information. So the first tool we're going to talk about is the magic wand tool. So the third, fourth tool down says magic wand tool. Go ahead and click on it. There's some other selection tools here underneath it, but the one we're going to deal with is the magic wand tool. Now the magic wand tool is really designed to get to capture um, stuff of all the same color. So I, I went ahead and cranked my tolerance up here to 40. And you'll see when I click on this red wall right here, it's going to select everything that's that same color red. All right, so it does a good job of kind of grabbing everything that was that color and making that selection. And now I can go ahead and hit delete and it'll get rid of everything over there that was that color. Now, you notice it definitely missed a few spots there. I didn't get the whole thing, but I can go ahead and click in some other spots and keep doing this and click and delete and slowly get rid of everything around her head here. Now, be kind of, it's going to become kind of tiresome trying to do it with this magic wand tool. So I can go up and there's some other regular selection tools here called the rectangle marquee tool, um, which will work pretty well for if I zoom in, I can just kind of draw some boxes around whatever is left here and start deleting that. So it's another one of our selection tools. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here and try to clean up whatever I can here. All right, um, and I may need to go back and use the magic wand tool again to select some of this stuff, some more around her head. Uh, that's starting to look pretty good. Oh, looks like there's a little spot right here that needs to be deleted. All right, so looking at these dancing lines here, it looks like we got a pretty nice clean selection now around her head. So again, that was the magic wand tool. All right, so now we're going to move on. We're going to cut out these other windows here. So I'm going to go ahead and go select, deselect, or control D to get rid of my selection here. And now we're going to talk about the poly, about the lasso tools. So the third one down is the lasso tool. So the regular lasso tool, uh, you can use and just kind of freehand draw circles or whatever and make selections and delete stuff. Um, and that's kind of difficult to use. So what we're going to use is a little bit easier in order to cut out these windows here. The first one we're going to talk about is the polygonal lasso tool. 
So the second tool down here, we'll go ahead and click on that polygonal lasso tool. And with that tool, it makes a nice straight line. So if I click, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit on this window. If I click right here in the corner, it makes my first dot. And then you can see it kind of drags out this line. And so I can take this line and drag it out straight along the edge of the, the top of this door here, since it's a nice straight line. And then when I get to the spot where I want it to stop, I'll go ahead and click. And that'll put down an anchor point. And now I can drag it out to the bottom of the door. And then I'll click again. That'll put down another anchor point. And now I can drag it out to the other edge of the door. And then click. And then I got to drag it back up to where I started. And then once I get back to my start point, you'll notice a little circle appears there on my uh, cursor. That means I'm back at the beginning. I can click again, and it'll make that selection. And if I click and hit the delete key, there we go. Delete everything out of that window. Nice and quick and easy. So again, we can do the same thing down here on the bottom window. I can go ahead and pick a spot, click for my start spot, make a selection down. Oops, I didn't like that, so I'm going to go hit the escape key, start over again, click there, no. Yeah, sorry, start right there, there we go. Click down, make sure I'm making a nice, good spot there, click over, click up. And click over to the beginning. Bam, another selection. Hit the delete key to delete it. All right, good. Now you notice the polygonal lasso, right, really works with nice straight edges. Well, over here along her legs, we don't have very straight edges. Now we could go through the, um, the magic wand tool again. But again, as we noticed, the magic wand tool wasn't super efficient. We had to keep selecting stuff as the colors changed. So what we could use over here is what we call the magnetic lasso tool. So it's our next tool we're going to learn about. It's a pretty powerful tool. So the magnetic lasso tool will actually cling to this edge as we go. So I'll go ahead and click right here at my start point. And as I drag it out, it's automatically going to stick to the edge of the windows. And when I get over here to the corner, I may want to click and put down a manual anchor point. And then I'll keep on dragging and it'll continue to drag out those anchor points and automatically stick right up next to where the color changes. So it makes it real easy to make my selections. Again, I, I can occasionally click if I want to force it to choose an anchor spot. So if, I, if it seems like it's having trouble, I may click and tell it, OK, you go ahead and make an anchor spot there. All right, and I may click right here and go down inside of here and go out. And then I get back to the beginning again, makes that circle, makes that selection. Go ahead and hit delete. And can go ahead and do the same thing over here along her leg. Make our selection and hit delete. All right, go ahead and Zoom back out. And I'm going to go ahead and go select, deselect. All right, now we get our windows all cut out nicely. Now we want to go ahead and place our image here in the background. So again, we're placing an image into this image. So we want to go up to File, and we want to go to Place Embedded. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and pick one of these backgrounds that we downloaded. I'll just choose the first one here. And I'll hit place. And now I'll go ahead with my move tool and resize it and get it to cover up the windows here, the area that we want it to look like she's walking out onto. All right, hit the enter key when I got it where I like it. Now, again, we have an issue, right? This picture is showing up on top of that picture. As we learned with the last assignment, we have layers over here. This tells us what's on top of what. Obviously, we want this to be behind the, her picture. So we're going to click and drag it down so it appears behind her. All right, so now it appears like she's walking out into this beautiful beach or ocean here. And it doesn't look too bad. Um, we, want to, we want to create it like it makes it look like, uh, we want to make it look like 
it's kind of a magical or whimsical door that's taking us out into another world. So we're gonna add some layer styles to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my door layer here, layer zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and double click to bring up my layer styles. And for this one, we're gonna go ahead and add an outer glow. So we're gonna add this outer glow. Oh, and now I can tell where some spots where I might need to clean up my selection. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose a white color here and get a little bit of a glow. Maybe increase the size again. We want this to be fairly obvious. Of course, now that it's pretty obvious, I can tell I made some bad selections here. So I'm gonna go in and clean up my selections even more. Trying not to cut off her head though. So this glow is kind of giving me a nice indication of where I may have missed some spots earlier. So I'm gonna go in and just delete those. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go back, select, deselect, all right. And zoom back out. Looks like I missed a spot right there. So I'm gonna use my regular lasso tool and clean that up a little bit. That wasn't very good. There we go. Delete. Maybe even clean this stuff up over here a little bit. All right. As I said, right, that magic wand tool, pretty inefficient, not the best tool for kind of that background with all those different colors. Um, this outer glow is kind of giving us the look that we want, but not quite. Um, something, but not quite what we're looking for. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add an inner glow. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, there we go. That's more what I was looking for. So I might even take this outer glow and drop it down a little bit. All right, and then this inner glow, we'll get that real big. Look like she's really going into another world here. Again, I'm gonna adjust my, si my settings to kind of get it looking the way I want it. Again, I want this to be a pretty obvious effect. There we go. I'm also gonna go ahead and the background's kind of quite a bit brighter than she is here in the foreground. So I'm also gonna go in and adjust the brightness here a little bit, the exposure. So if I go to layer, or sorry, image, adjustments, exposure, I can go ahead and I'm just gonna crank up the exposure on this layer just a little bit. Uh, maybe half a stop there. Looks pretty good. Hit OK. And there we go. There's our project. So again, we deleted uh, what was in the windows here and replaced it with the new background here. And then we added this effect to kind of make it look real dreamy, like she's headed out to this uh, other world. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save it to turn it in. So we go up to File, Save As. And we'll go ahead and call this one. Let's see lasso and then your last name and your period All right and uh, again we can you can save it as a Photoshop document if you're not done with it but in order to turn it into me it's important that you turn it in as a JPEG so I can see it so JPEG so we'll go ahead and save it as that click Save uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the quality to 10 Hit OK, and that'll save it, and then we'll turn that into Schoology. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Good luck.